Learning to channel your empathy after narcissistic abuse. Let's get into it. A huge part of what keeps us trapped in narcissistic relationships and feeling too guilty to leave is being overly empathic. Having so much empathy that it doesn't matter how much self-betrayal you experience as long as you're helping the other person as long as the other person is okay having so much fucking empathy that you feel too guilty to stop helping them you feel like you're a bad person if you're not there for them anymore even though they fucked you over it becomes a huge problem for your well-being when you are that empathic with no boundaries for yourself and i get it because i lived most of my life like that a textbook empath Walking outside like a fucking sponge every day, soaking in everybody else's problems and feeling the need to help everyone and fix everyone and save everyone all the time. It gets exhausting and it takes away from you filling up your own cup. And if you've been through narcissistic abuse, you know exactly how it feels to be fucking drained and for your empathy to be exploited. There are many lessons that I learned from that experience, but a huge one was that not every situation deserves my empathy. Some people say, just empathize from afar. I say, learn to channel that shit. Through my healing journey, I have been very intentional about retraining myself to evaluate each situation and say, does this deserve my empathy? I no longer impulsively feel bad for people and want to immediately help them. Because sometimes people create their own fucking problems and they create their own fucking chaos and then they play the victim and they feel entitled for other people to fix it for them or people make fucked up choices and they don't expect to have to face consequences for those choices and the old me for some reason wanted to protect people from facing consequences and i was indirectly enabling people when i thought i was helping them i was recently in this conversation where Someone was talking about how they had to kick this guy out of their house and talking about the things that he did. And she felt really bad for having to kick him out. And another person in the conversation was like, you know, it's really fucked up that he did that. But man, I feel bad that he's on the street. And I did not feel bad at all that he was on the street. I was literally like, why do we have to feel bad that he's on the street when it's his fault that he's that he did these things to her? But the old me would have agreed. The old me put other people above myself to where even though I'm getting fucked over, I still feel bad for the person that I'm having to give consequences to. And I simply don't do that anymore. You have to learn to evaluate the situation that you are dealing with. Does this deserve my empathy? If it's someone close to you who's in a fucked up situation and it's not really their fault, absolutely. Yeah, that deserves your empathy. Help them. If it's someone close to you and they've made a mistake and it hasn't been a pattern of behavior, sure, it might deserve your empathy and you might help them. But for people who have a pattern of behavior that is fucked up and they play the victim within that pattern of behavior, absolutely not. That does not deserve your empathy and you don't need to help them. You do not have to be an empathetic sponge. You can learn to channel that shit by having boundaries within your empathy. I promise you, it will be life-changing when you stop throwing your absolute all into every situation because you feel like you just can't help but be empathetic to everyone and everything. Pause, ask yourself, does this deserve my empathy?